Hello everyone, Warp here with a guide on getting the season board done as quick as you can. Want to go over little tips here and there, and uh, yeah, let's get rock and rolling. So number one tip that uh, everyone should be doing all the time is you get some free re-rollers every day for your dailies or weeklies. And the benefit that you get from uh, doing a re-roller is you have a chance of getting an epic. And if you do it on a daily, you do get a little bit of bonus. But if you do them on weeklies, the amount of extra score that you get is much, much higher. So you get two free a day, so that's 14 chances that you can get all week. What I do is I try to re-roll the ones that I don't think I'll be able to avoid. If there's anything on there that I know that I specifically have to go out and do, I will leave those for later and re-roll them. And just hope that I can get all epics. Okay, so the next thing to do is make sure that as you are leveling up that you are paying attention to the actual season board. There are score boosters, especially if you're going to be going and devoting like a day, maybe on the weekend or whenever you're going to go. You can activate the score booster and you get a 24-hour real-time boost to your score, which is really great if you're going to be doing a bunch of farming. There's also the, uh, the premium re-rollers that you can get as a re reward. If you could see here that um, I... Have pushed really hard and I got to 100 on the, the season board in one day and I saved all the re-rollers for the weeklies that I, I was able to do afterwards because after the after you get up to level 100 the little bonus of getting 100 score every 10,000 experience goes away and actually it is replaced now with a new one every three of public events that you do public events are the ones with the exclamation mark uh, once you complete three of those, you get 450 score here with my boosts, and uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's a great little addition here. All right, so next up, the we're going to talk about going from you know the start of the season to level 100 and focusing on that experience boost. Now you may have already know, but if there is the option of using unyielding armor and going low health with unyielding armor. And with a full set, you you get 15 bonus uh, intelligence if you're below 20% health. And now with the introduction of the new legendary crafting system and the new stats, you set, if you can get a second star as one intelligence, it's actually plus two intelligence now. So for a full set of unyielding armor with um, intelligence as a second star, that's 25 extra uh, intelligence, which is like basically 75% extra experience. Now, if you add that with the other mutations, like Herd Mentality, um, you're going to get an extra three points with that. And being in a, a team, you get a full casual team. That's another four intelligence. And uh, yeah, definitely something that you should you should be doing is always making sure that you're in a team. Um, as well as also in any team that you're in, like if you're in a daily op team or an expedition team or an event team, you can switch it to the. You can switch it to that at the very end to get the bonus uh, experience. If you're going to be doing expeditions with a bunch of people, you should keep it on a casual team while you are doing the thing, so you get the extra intelligence for all the kills that you're doing, and just switch it to the expedition team right at the very end to get that little bonus. And uh, rock and roll. Uh, let's see some other things that you. Another big tip that you should always, always be doing is. Uh, make sure that you you get your sleep bonus constantly uh, Especially if you're low levels that should be a, a high priority because you get the 5% extra experience um, for being well rested and uh, On top of that if you're gonna be doing a bunch of farming you can use lunch boxes It's 25% up to four times. So with four lunch box bonus. That's another 100% extra experience which is really nice you can also have camp items such as the Sacred Tome, and that gives another 5% experience. And there's the Derby Machine that gives another 2 intelligence, which is really nice as well. So here I'm going to show the the wiki page here with a list of all of the different things that you can do to get your in, your intelligence up. You know, such as uh, having the Inspirational Perk. It's going to give you 15% uh, experience if you uh, are in a team with, with the full 3 rank. You can have Night Person for um, in the, the perception tree, which will give you another three during the middle of the night. You know, mutations, you have Egghead for six intelligence. The herd mentality is going to give you three with with the uh, strange in numbers. And uh, marsupial, if you want to really min max, you can keep a little stack of those on you just to suppress the mutation and get one more intelligence, which is nice. 
and uh, rock and roll. There's also the option of using some allies. Um, you have the Steven Scarberry and Leo Petrov, uh, but those buffs are just once a day, and and for, they only last like an hour, but uh, definitely worth paying attention to. So rock and roll. So I hope you guys are all getting the season board ASAP. And if you guys do have any questions, make sure to leave a comment. And yeah, we will rock and roll. All right, I'll see done. you guys out there yeah, that, in that last the one.